So now you know exactly how to like, you know, butter me up. I mean, I don't know that I need to butter you up. Like, I do a good job of that on my own already. I'm sorry, they just had this resting on my arm is just getting bigger and bigger by the second. So it's just, it's just getting very up. heavy. I don't know how Shut to do it. You know what? Whatever. Mm. What am I going to do with you? One of the most important parts of online dating is, well, dating. I mean, it's all well and good to get a date, but what happens on the date matters tremendously as well. Are you getting attraction? Are you getting connection? Are you taking the girl home? Are you starting a relationship? When I first started dating 23 years ago, I wasn't very good at it, but I've done hundreds and hundreds of dates. And since then I've perfected a system for how to have effective dates that go well, build chemistry, build relationships basically every single time. And I'm going to show you how I do it specifically in this video by showing you a date I went on recently that went very, very well. So let's have a look at that date, what I do, why I did it, and how you can do the same right now. It takes a lot of work to like actually like uh, pronounce the R's and stuff though. Like it just takes a longer time. I know. I, I like every time I start pronouncing R's, my watch tells me I'm burning more calories. It's That's crazy. Very funny. Yeah. Very funny. No, it's like a workout. Like I have like to. Like my, my pulse goes up to 100. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. Alrighty. I actually like it. I told you this. You did. I do like accents. Yeah. You did say that. On top of which, I also want you to be yourself with me. I know. Legitimately. Okay. I am myself with you. Though. I hope so. I know. I notice the additional escalation, like getting a little bit physical, touching the hair, getting, you know, those kind of things, right? Again, I want to increase the amount of flirting because it's time, it's time that we need to make out. It's time that like, this needs to get physical in some way, uh, now or soon. What are you looking for, like now at this point in your life? Like, are you looking for like companionship? Are you looking for just like a good time? Because I do feel like there's a part of you that just wants to have a good time too. But they don't have to be banned binary, right? So, but I'm not going to speak to you, so I'm going to let you answer that question. So obviously this is a question you should expect to be asked on any good date, the what are you looking for question, and you probably need to have a good answer for it. And the right answer is usually something along the lines of, I'm open to something serious, but I'm not trying to, you know, make it too serious too fast or force something serious. That's probably essentially the answer you want to give. Um, and there are a hundred different ways to say that, but that is the right frame most of the time. And you will be asked this question. So you should definitely have an answer or answers prepared for this situation. But the part where you said it's not, it's not a, an either or it's completely binary thing. Like I don't want something that's utterly meaningless and devoid of a future possibility, but I also don't want anything that's so heavy and serious so as not to be fun. Right. It has to. It needs to be both. Like it should. It should have a, a future, but it should also be fun in the moment. It should not be work and hard and toil and I hate it in order to like get to a you know oh in the future it'll be good. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it shouldn't be so flighty and superficial that like the, the idea of a future is inconceivable. Okay. Right. Like if yeah. I mean, I guess I'll, since, since it is a, it, inherently it is by, by the nature of this sort of a personal question, right? If I didn't think, if I thought you were like utterly vapid and boring and didn't have any chance of me liking you in the long term, even if you're incredibly beautiful, I would have probably found an excuse to leave by now. Well, you already tried all your excuses, so like, I'm, gonna, I'm just kidding. A little bit. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, the problem is you caught me on all, all of them, so now I'm like, I'm trying really hard to figure out a, a non-awkward way. I'm just like, okay. I'm constrained by social courtesy now. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Please, don't, don't feel constrained. She's getting the message, right? You already tried all your excuses, et cetera, et cetera, right? She knows that I've, you know, been playing around or teasing at least. And she's kind of teasing here, but she's also kind of serious because I'm sure she's never been on a date where a guy has mentioned leaving or the reasons why he might be disinterested or his sick cat or whatever as many times as I have. Um, but at the same time, now I'm being sincere, right? Even when I'm being sincere, 
um, there's just a little shadow of a doubt, right? It's not, so I'm being very nice now, I'm being very sincere, I'm very, very open, but my character and my personality and the fact that I've been difficult and spiky is coming through and, and, and it's, it's affecting everything, right? The frame is in my favor. And so now I have the ability to give these outright compliments because they won't be taken as too sappy. They will be taken as earned. They won't be taken as just for sex or just having an agenda, right? Because the frame has been set really well over, at this point, a period of um, three and a half hours. So goodness knows, I've, I've set a lot of frame by this point. Such a comforting feeling. When you sleep, you have to be hot or cold? Um, I like the air around me cool like not super super hot but I want like covers on me to make me make me warm or I can I can go hot with no covers but I can't go hot with covers Does that makes okay. sense okay. like I don't want to be sitting there like sweating in my sleep yeah um, oh you don't want to be like in a sauna while you sleep if, okay. if, if that's you we're gonna like put a row of pillows between no, us I, and I you can like be on the hot. other I don't like to be hot I'd rather be cold than hot Okay, so obviously this is a very, very easy misinterpretation. If she's talking about sleeping, obviously, I mean, it's actually literally true. The only reason that this actually could be relevant to her at all is if she's imagining sharing a bed with me. So it's not even that much of a misinterpretation, but me doing it as a disqualifier saying, you know, if that's you, or put a wall of pillows between us when we sleep, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I'm taking what's intangibly there in her mind and making it tangible, making it more sexual, but also framing it that she's the one chasing me rather than the other way around. So just... Just gorgeous sort of frame control and misinterpretation here. So two, two, top two. Now we know your top two. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So now you know exactly how to like, you know, butter me up. I mean, I don't know do that it. I need to butter you up. Like, I do a good job of that on my own already. Oh my goodness. Inside the, this head that's resting on my arm is just getting bigger and bigger by the second. This is just, just getting very up. heavy. I don't know how Shut to do it. You know what? Whatever. Mm. What am I going to do with you? Mm. I don't know. Enjoy me. Ask me difficult questions. You don't like my difficult questions. I love your difficult questions. They're just difficult. By definition, they actually make me think. My sisters didn't like any of my exes. So. Oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just curious. Fair enough. No, um, I. Never mind. Tell me. <laughs> it's gonna be tell a joke me. anyway. No, tell me. I just say, you know, there's one of us that has good taste, and there's one of us that, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's okay. All right. No, I can't say that. I was going to say that, but the problem is you like me, so I was like insulting myself yeah, by saying exactly. it. Yeah, so. exactly. Anyways. But I'm glad, I'm glad you admit that you like me. It's very, it's very sweet. Thank you. I like you too. <laughs> so it's a tease, and then I reverse the tease, and then I reverse the tease again. Um, but the most important thing is that I'm being playful, right? And I, I'm coming from a very, um, a very... Uh, high value frame in terms of how I'm seeing myself and whatnot, but mostly I'm just being playful and fun. And at this point, we we like each other. I just need to keep it playful and fun, and then pretty soon I'm gonna need to um, go ahead and um, do the next venue change. Um, I mean, there's not like a time limit on it so much, but um, you know, it's it's getting to be time for that pretty soon. It's like the cutest lounge. <laughs> like you would love it if you love like. Okay. Stuff. Like and it's not loud and it's like super like. Right. Let's do this then. Why don't we go up to just we'll go up to like the roof here and just have another drink here for now and then for next time you can invite me to your favorite place. Okay. Does that work? Okay. okay fair enough. Um, I have to use the restroom. I assume there'll probably be one up there, but no, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So notice I got agreement on the next venue and then we figure it out the next venue and figure it out what would make the most sense. Um, so that's kind of the, the general procedure that I like to follow here. Excuse me, is the, is the roof currently open? Are you guys in the hotel? Yes. Uh, right, yeah, so just yeah. wait over here okay. on this side with your room key and photo IDs. Okay. Security goes up and down the elevator. Okay, perfect, perfect. Just stay on this side because the other side is like outside gas. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Security. Okay, sounds good. So that's not ideal that the, she did the are you a hotel guest thing or whatever, but the fact that that was the case and the girl had absolutely no objection to going up knowing that is actually like a pretty good sign um, as far as it goes. <laughs>